In the previous episode of All IndyCar, I examined the career of 1996 PPG IndyCar World Series champion Jimmy Vassar. In this episode, we examine the career of Buzz Calkins, your 1996 Indy Racing League co-champion. So welcome back to All IndyCar, the show that looks at the good, bad, and ugly in IndyCar racing. Born Bradley Calkins Jr. on May 2nd, 1971 in Denver, Buzz came from a background of wealth as his family ran the Colorado gas station chain Bradley since 1912. The family soon got Buzz involved with racing, with his earliest documented racing being a failed entry into the 1990 SCCA runoffs and Formula Fords. When 1993 rolled around, Buzz Calkins would move to the Indy Light Series, racing for his family's team. For some reason, they won't race in the season opener at Phoenix, but from then on, they won't miss another race. 1993 was a solid rookie season. 10 top 15s, 5 top 10s, and 2 top 5s at best finish of 4th would propel him to 11th in the point standings. 1994 would see slight regression. His best finish of the year was 6th, and he would have 2 DNFs on the year compared to a single DNF the year prior. Despite that being the case, his consistent top 15th would give him a 10th place points finish. 1995 would be his best season in Indy Lights. 8 top 10s, 5 top 5s, and 2 podium finishes. He would finish 6th in the points. Over the offseason, his team would purchase a 1995 Reynard chassis to race in the inaugural Indy Racing League season. The inaugural race at the brand new Walt Disney World Speedway would see Buzz win the inaugural IRL race after leading a race high 130 laps. The Phoenix round two months later would see Buzz come home with a 6th place finish. The Indy 500 would be the last race of the IRL season and when the checkered flag came out that day, Buzz Calkins and Scott Scott Sharp would be at the top of the championship. So who would be the champion, you might ask? Well, the Indy Racing League never had a tiebreaker system installed, so the two drivers became co-champions of the inaugural IRL season. Under most tiebreaker systems, however, Buzz will have been awarded the championship as he had more wins, but in most racing series there won't have just been three races in a year. Regardless, Buzz Calkins went from an average driver in Indy Lights to an IndyCar champion in the span of three years. Buzz Calkins had one of the most meteoric rises in motorsports history, but with every rise, there's gotta be a fall. 1997 will be a great season in most books, but when you're trying to defend a championship, it'll feel like a friends with benefits relationship you'll leave the season feeling emptier than when you entered it. Two top fives, four top tens, and a 10th place points finish. 1998 would see more regression as the occasional good finishes would dissipate with only two top tens and a best finish of ninth. A 19th place points finish was what this season would result in. The next three years would see better results, but Buzz Calkins never matched the towering heights of 1996. Besides a third place finish in the Atlanta race in 2001, his career would round off with little success with Buzz was retiring at the end of 2001. In 53 races, he'll have one win, three podiums, and 18 top tens. I hate that this video is as short as it is, but there just isn't much to his career. The guy was just an average driver. People may say that his 1996 championship was a fluke, and honestly, they might be right, but that's how the year was. If it was a full year schedule, he wouldn't have won the championship, but that's how the season was. Yet, if there wasn't a tiebreaker set up, he will have been the undisputed champion in 1996. It's just one of those deals in motorsports. 